Namaste and welcome to Yoga for Climbers. You can do this sequence right after climbing or practice on a rest day. All you need therefore is a yoga mat and a little pillow. So we're going to start lying on our backs and you can use uh, the pillow right now. Place it underneath your head, bring the arms next to your body and the palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Your legs are in a V-shape and start to breathe slowly in and out through the nose. Deepen your breath a little bit and you can close your eyes. Try to breathe into your belly and when you inhale the belly lifts up and when you exhale the navel drops in towards the spine. And try to feel some heaviness in your body. And all the muscles, especially the back side of your body, is completely relaxed into the ground. And with your next inhalation, lift up your right knee and place your left hand on top of your right knee. And then with your next exhalation, bring the knee down towards the ground on the left side. And stretch the right arm towards the right hand side, the palm is facing down towards the ground. If the stretch is too big, you can bring your arm closer to your body. And here as well, you can close your eyes and breathe in and out through the nose. Try to relax your glute muscles and feel some heaviness in your body. And with your next inhalation, you lift up back to the center and you switch over to the other side. Straighten the right leg and bring the right hand on top of your left knee. And then turn over to the right hand side and stretch the left arm to the left side. You can close your eyes again. And breathe in and out through the nose. Always come back to your breath. And try to relax your glute muscles again. And then inhale, come back to the center. And bend your knees. We start with the left side and bring the leg outside. So we open the hip a little bit. Arms are next to your body, palms are facing up towards the ceiling. And close your eyes again and breathe slowly and deeply. And with your next inhalation, bring your left ankle on top of your right thigh and interlace the fingers behind your right hamstring. And pull the right thigh towards the body and flex the left toes towards the left knee. And the right leg is completely relaxed. And if you want to have an extra stretch, you can push your forearm, your left forearm, against the inside of their left thigh. And here as well, try to relax, close your eyes and slowly breathe in and out through the nose, into your belly. With your next exhalation, step down with your right foot and interlace the fingers behind the left hamstring. Straighten the right leg and pull the, right, the left thigh <laughs> towards the chest. And then with your next inhalation, try to straighten your leg as much as possible. But don't lose the contact between the thigh and the chest. And most important, come back to your breath. Close your eyes again if you like and push the right heel away from the body. Flex the toes towards your body. And if you start to shiver a little bit with the leg, that's okay. And then exhale, bring the leg down. So now we do the whole thing on the right hand side. Bend your knees, exhale, and bring the right leg to the outside. 
Arms again next to your body, palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes and breathe gently and slowly through the nose into your belly. And with your next inhalation, bring your right ankle on top of the left thigh. Interlace your fingers again behind the hamstring and you can add this extra push again with the elbow against the inner side of the right thigh. Flex your toes and the left foot is completely relaxed. You can close the eyes, then it's easier to be calm inside. And always come back to your breath. Connect with your breath. That's the most important thing. And then release this position and interlace the fingers behind the right leg. Straighten the left one and pull the thigh towards the chest. And then try to extend the leg as much as possible. But don't lose the contact between the thigh and the chest. And push the left heel away from your body. Okay, shivering is coming again, but it's fine. And then exhale, bring the leg down. Okay. So now we turn around and we lie on our belly. So we start with the right side. And you bring your leg like in a frog position, half frog position. The knee and the hips are in one line and the ankle is right underneath the knee. And then you take your right arm and you thread it through. So, and try to keep the right shoulder low. Try to bring it through as much as possible and you can make a small pillow for your head with the left hand. And try to have a lot of contact with your belly to the mat. And here you can feel your breath really good. So when you inhale, the belly pushes against the mat and when you exhale, the navel draws towards the spine. You can close your eyes again. This might help when the stretch of the right shoulder is a little bit stronger. Close the eyes and try to breathe the strong stretch away. And then move slowly over to the other side. So we take the left leg in a frog-like position and we're threading the left arm through. And then make a little pillow with your right hand. The left shoulder is low. And you can close your eyes again. Breathing, feeling your belly, pushing against the mat. And then slowly get out of the position. Bring your forehead down, tuck your toes under and bring the hands next to your chest. Exhale, push up. Okay. We bring the right leg forward. So your right foot and the hands are in one line. Tuck the toes under on the left leg and with your next inhalation, come up. So tuck your tailbone under and move your pelvis forward. And you should feel your stretch in your left um, hip flexor. And then you move a little bit forward, sink with the hip towards the ground. And with the next inhalation, you lift up your arm and you add a twist in the arm so that the little finger, the pinky finger is pointing backwards. And you will feel a nice stretch from the fingertips down into the hips and keep on breathing but don't close your eyes <laughs> you might fall and exhale come down hands next to the foot and then step backwards in a small downward dog bend your knees as much as possible straighten your elbows shoulders away from the ears fix your shoulder blades and exhale through the mouth Then come down on your knees again and bring the left foot forward. So they are again in one line. 
tuck the toes under and then with your inhalation come back up. try to have the knee right above the ankle and then again move your pelvis forward and sink down lower your right hip a little bit towards the mat and with your inhalation lift up your arm and turn your arm in a way that the little finger is pointing backwards and keep on breathing And with your next exhalation, bring your hands down again and step back in a small downward dog. You can walk the dog and bring one heel down and the other one down so that, it feels, that you feel a nice stretch in your calf muscles. Then exhale, bring your knees down again. And now we start to massage our forearms. So um, place the left forearm on the mat and bring your left knee on top and you can make a little pillow for your head again that's more comfortable and do some circles maybe. Move forward and backward and you will see there happens some magic, your fingers are moving by themselves. Move from side to side. And you will feel the point where there is the most tension. And then switch over to the other side. So you take the right forearm. This is much harder for me, the right one. And do some circles. Or move from side to side and backwards. And always come back to your breath here as well. And then come back up. So next place your hands right underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips and tuck your toes under. Spread your fingers wide and your index finger should be parallel to the edge of the mat. And then um, suck your navel in towards the spine so that you feel stability here and as well the shoulders. Feel stability in the shoulders. Don't hang in your shoulders. And the next part is that we exhale and we turn the fingers backwards. And then we do it with the other hand as well. Inhale, move forward, move forward, and exhale, move backwards. If you bring the fingers or the hands closer to your body, the stretch gets a little bit easier. So find your own distance where you have a good stretch. And move forward. Next one is a little back bend for your hands. So you bring the back side of your hand down and the other one as well. And your thumb and your index finger are pushing into the ground. That's very important. And push out of your shoulders. Good. Keep on breathing. And then lift your hands up again. And here like really, if you would make some tense with your hands, Push the fingers actively into the ground and with your next exhalation come back up in a little down dog or a small down dog. Bend your knees again and the sitting bones are coming up towards the ceiling. Good. You can close your eyes. Exhale deeply through the nose or through the mouth. And then come back on your knees again. Good. So now you can take the pillow again for sitting. I think it's more comfortable. You can fold it, sit on it, and then move this tiny bit forward so that your lower back is upright and straight. You can cross your legs. You should feel really comfortable with sitting. And your spine should be straight. The shoulders are low. Then inhale and take your arms up and circle your wrists, they always should be in contact. Good. And then change the direction. Okay, good. So now we stretch our fingers separately and take your right hand underneath the left one and you grab your 
thumb really firmly. And when you exhale, you extend your arm, your elbow and the wrist and spread your fingers wide. And the shoulders, they stay low. Don't lift up the shoulders, they should really stay low. Then inhale, come back up and take the next finger. Index finger is coming down with your exhalation. And inhale, come back up. Exhale, move forward. And always remind yourself to completely extend your arm and leave your shoulders low. Come back up and stretch. Good. Then we take the other hand. So left arm underneath the right one. Grab your thumb. Exhale. Come forward. Inhale, lift up. And next one. So one after the other. Good. And next. Always spread your fingers wide and use your breath. Inhaling up, exhaling, stretching forward. Okay, good. So now we do a little exercise for our neck. And we start with the right side. So take your left hand towards the left hand side. And it's about 20 centimeters off the mat. And your right ear is going down towards the right shoulder. You can close your eyes here again if you like. Come back to your breath and feel the stretch in the left side of the neck. And then draw your chin towards the chest. And find a position for your left arm where the stretch for your body feels best. Then take your right hand towards your right ear and bring your head back up to the center. And then we switch over to the other side. So take your right hand to the right hand side and your left ear drops down towards the left shoulder. You can close your eyes. And then bring the chin towards the chest and feel the stretch in the right side of your neck. And maybe move with your right arm a little bit to find the best way to stretch this side. Take your left hand towards the left ear and bring your head back up to the center. Okay. So now we can take the pillow away. Nice side up. <laughs> and then we sit again with uh, extended knees and then take your hands and move your glute muscles backwards so that you feel your sitting bones more on the mat. Bend your knees slightly, inhale, make yourself tall and exhale, bring your belly towards your thighs and your hands are next to your legs. Try, don't try to reach your toes, that's not the goal. You try to bring the belly towards the thighs. Close your eyes. and try to soften completely. Maybe try to soften your face muscle, face muscles if you can. And with your next inhalation, slowly come up. Good. So we do a final twist and therefore you take with your right hand both knees and this is an anchor for the twist. So hold this really firmly. And then inhale, make yourself tall. Exhale, bring your left hand on top of your left shoulder. And inhale, twist backwards. And when you're at your furthest point backwards, then you straighten your arm. Extend the wrist, spread the fingers wide and look towards your left thumb. If somebody would pull your arm out of the shoulder. And when you inhale, you make yourself tall, you have a nice and long spine, and when you exhale, you can twist a little bit more. Inhale, come back to the center. Good, so now you take your left arm and make the anchor. Inhale, make yourself tall. Exhale, right hand on top of your right shoulder. Inhale, start to twist right from above your navel, move backwards, and at your furthest point, straighten your arm. Extend your fingers and look towards your right thumb. 
Inhaling, growing tall and exhaling, twisting more. And exhale, come back to the center. So um, I hope this sequence brought your body a little bit more back into balance after a strenuous climbing day. And if you have some time left, you can lie on your back for a final relaxation for about five minutes. Um, I say namaste and have fun with your next climbing day.